usually how it goes. You cool with that, Phil? Race the section, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Big Tony picks up Queen Thanks, Nine. Bradley and UTH and piano lessons. Queen for Brad. Right back in it for Brad. Straddling UTH. Got Big Tony dominated. <laughs> Looking to isolate, but easy. Oh, going to cold call. <laughs> like, a gap. Position. Very interesting. Would not have predicted that. I think Big Tony has an easy call Sweet here. Was, uh, yeah, a little unusual, <laughs> but very deep stacks. Yeah. And the Nick game is in effect. Playing a nice, friendly, casual 100-200 game at the Lodge. Big Tony opens it up with the Queen Nine of Clubs, which is an excellent hand, playing about $28,000 deep effective. Over to Brad Owen, the most popular poker video blogger in the entire world. He opts to three bet to $2,000 with the Ace Queen offsuit. Perfectly fine, perfectly good. Over to Easy in the cutoff. He decides to make the easy call with the 8-6 of diamonds. Big Tony calls as well. We'll go to the flop three ways. Bellagio Going three-way position with Big Tony in it. Of something. Mm -hmm. they only had, they only oh, wow. Ball. What a flop to read. Yeah. Obviously, the toughest thing to feel that. Brad, two overs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they, like, big buy-in Vegas turns are always like that. Well, two-way. I don't know if he takes a stab here or not. Like probably like a, a mix. Like Good. He's gonna take the aggressive yeah. line. He's not want to pay out in the Nick game. He's already lost it twice here this week in a much bigger game. This guy again. I'm assuming he has all the fucking chips, and he says the 25 kids go on at this point. Easy, just a flat. And the late reg. Big Tony gets out of the way. So he's like, hey guys, like, I want to play this 25. Flop comes. Jack of diamonds, six of heart, two of diamonds, giving Big Tony nothing, giving Brad. Two over cards with the back door queen high flush draw. It's pretty good. And giving easy the flush draw and the middle pair, which is an excellent hand. Checks around to Brad, and he goes for a $2,500 bet, which I think is fine and good. This is a spot where you want to be betting with your best hands and then some draws. And I think Brad's hand is a draw that he can very reasonably bet and then fold if he gets raised. So I think this is fine. I mean, two over cards with back door flush draw, back door straight draw. It's a pretty good hand. So I like the bet. Over round to easy. I think calling is his only good option. He could raise, but you have to be very careful raising in situations like this when you're playing very deep stacked in a cash game because if you get a lot of action, you're going to be against either better flush draws or you're going to be against really strong hands like sets or overpairs. And I realize you're fine against an overpair. It's roughly 50-50. But when you're against a set, you're in pretty bad shape. And when you're against a flush draw, you're really only going to end up getting all the money in whenever both flushers come in and you happen to be beat. So this is a spot where I think calling in position is definitely the right play. Maybe out of position you can go for a check raise, but even then I'm still just going to be calling with a lot of those pair plus flush draws. Big Tony gets out of the way and we head to the turn. Yeah. I don't really give a like, I'm so rich already, who cares? King, uh, great card for Brad. <laughs> can we give me chop? I'll give you all like 150K. Like, Good for his range and he picks up the Broadway top. draw. And I was like, we were like, <laughs> sold, yeah. of course. Like, Brad looks ready to go to the felt on this one. Is that I'll give you 150k on top, but I'll take nice first place still, but yeah. he just won the trophy. He just won the trophy and then be able to give so him the final hand. Setting so up for yeah, we stopped took their jam on the river. That's awesome. Chop four ways. And Here we go, chat. Big pot energy. Lock in. Easy. A pair. Down. Flush That's draw. And you didn't have to play a single hand on the final table. That's badass. Not going anywhere. Oh, four hand. Oh, four hand. Yeah. Okay. That guy deserves to win that 25k. Yeah. That's karma right there. Super nice guy. Yeah. I want to play 25k. Does Easy want to shove here ever? I don't think so. I don't believe so. Never had that term You're ahead of all the bluffs, yeah. behind all the value. What was it? Guys, it's a small. Um, Still have equity. Yeah. Oh. It does just yeah. make the call. All right, huge river coming down here. The turn brings the king of clubs, which gives Brad a gut shot now. That said, this is a great. Perfect, wonderful turn for Brad because Easy is not going to have a whole lot of kings in his range unless he had King Jack or King X of Diamonds, right? So unless he has those hands, this is a spot where Brad's probably going to be able to get into fold by betting the turn kind of big and then jamming the river. This is also a hand that Brad does not mind betting and then if he gets shoved on, he can let it go. So Brad does go for an 8,000 bet, leaving 18,000 behind. I think I would have preferred a slightly smaller turn bet so you could set up a slightly larger river shove, just really try to apply maximum pressure to jacks on the river. 
Because I think when we start to go 8,000 on the turn, I'm not sure if we know if Jacks are going to be continuing or not. I think we don't mind keeping them in, though. If they're going to call the turn and then fold to a big river shove every time, I think that's certainly reasonable. Over to Easy. In position. At this point, he loses to almost everything except for flush draws, which he kind of blocks. And airball bluffs with ace-queen, ace-10, and queen-10. Maybe queen-9 suited. So... I think you just have to call. If you do shove, yeah, you're going to make it to where you never get bluffed on the river, but when you do shove and get called, you're usually going to be in pretty bad shape because you're going to be against a king or better. And this is a spot where Brad definitely could have a king. And if he does have a hand like ace-king after betting 8,000, he's got to call it off. So this is a situation where I think Easy just has to call and try to get there. Stuff is always changing, rotating. Wow. Blank. Does Brad go for it? And there he does. All in. I think this bet is going to work. Unless Easy wants to put on his hero cape. Brad was the three better pre-flop. We have to remember this. Putting Easy in absolutely miserable spots. The river is the seven of spades. And as the commentators alluded to, Brad's ready to go. I think this is a spot where he has a pretty easy all in. He definitely needs to bluff in the spot. This is a spot where a lot of people do not bluff, though. They bet the flop and bet the turn and think, well, if they called me on the turn, they must be calling me on the river. But that's not true. If Easy is sitting here with a jack or a six with a flush draw, or maybe even a stubborn hand like pocket tens, he's probably going to fold, right? Now, look, if your opponent's an extreme calling station and they're just always going to call with any six or better, then it becomes a little bit dicey. Or if your opponent's really tricky and they will have a lot of sets here, or King Jack type hands, then maybe you don't want to go for it so much. But as your opponents can be calling with more and more marginal stuff preflop, they're inevitably going to end up with more and more marginal hands, like Jack-9 suited that's going to be in a miserable spot going to the river when they face a shove. So I love the shove by Brad. I think it's his only option. Good job, good work. Let's see if it costs him a stack. This is not where you want to be with fourth pair on the river. Brad staying calm, cool, and collected. Easy, absolutely distraught right now with the six. Only beats a bluff. $18,000 bet from Brad Owen. So he's trying to get a read on Brad. Nothing to be found. Easy is not folded hard. yet. <laughs> oh, wow, he's asking for a count, Greg. Wow. I. Did he call? He. Oh, he folded in Brad. Brad going to get it through. Wow. He does lay it down. Not surprisingly, Brad Owen gets the bluff through. Ace high. Got to feel good for him. Oh, I, I forgot we were playing the Nick game for a second. And I was like, if he called, I'm going to lose my mind. But easy. Easy doesn't take too long, and he lets it go. I think that's the only play in this scenario that makes any sense whatsoever. It's usually not good to call all ends with fourth pair. So... Good fold. Brad gets away with it. And he shows the bluff. What I want to know is when you run a big bluff, do you show your opponents? And how does it make you feel? Write it in the comment section below. I'm curious. If you want another hand that Brad played where instead of having nothing, he has a full house against the trash talker, make sure you check out that video. We will post it somewhere around here. You'll find it. That's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck in your games. Have fun. Thanks to the Lodge. Thanks for to Brad for letting us use this content. I wish you all the best of luck, and I hope all your triple barrel all-in bluffs for a ton of money get through.